If I wish to apply Henri Bergson's vision to my personal life, if I want to practice his vision, then what do I do? How do I connect to the inner river which, according to Bergson, flows deep in myself? There is no ready-made answer here. Let us do an exercise to explore this. But first, a short explanation. For Bergson, the deep self is usually hidden from our awareness. But it is not a hidden mechanism, as it is for Freud. It is not a mechanism at all, and it cannot be analyzed. On the contrary, any analysis of our deep self would miss it, because it is a symphonic, creative, holistic flow that does not accept linguistic distinctions. How, then, can we connect to our deep inner self? Bergson's answer is through intuition. Intuition, for Bergson, is a way of understanding which is holistic. It understands the whole, without breaking the whole into parts, without imposing on it concepts and distinctions. Intuition, Bergson says, is a way of understanding life from the inside, by connecting to the river of life directly. Usually, we relate to ourselves through analytic thinking, or what Bergson calls the intellect. And that's why we are not in touch with a deep inner flow of plenitude. The intellect has its own important function, but in order to connect to the whole of our being, we need to return to our intuitive understanding. To explore how this can be done, let us do here a simple exercise. We will choose an image from Bergson's approach, and we will place it in our minds or in our hearts. We will contemplate this image quietly, and we will let it grow in us, and speak in us, and work in us. We will listen to it just as we listen to a friend who sometimes speaks and sometimes is quiet, sometimes says something new, sometimes repeats himself or mumbles. We will start with an image that is found in a couple of sentences from Bergson's book Creative Evolution. It is to the very inwardness of life that intuition leads us. This is just what the artist tries to do when he places himself in the model, through a sort of sympathy, and by an effort of intuition, breaks down the distance that separates him from his model. So let us sit quietly for a few moments, or take a quiet walk, and place this image in our minds and listen to it. During the day we can carry this image in our hearts and every once in a while we can remember it for a few moments and think about it. We can do this while driving or walking in the street or even in the middle of a conversation. Let us see what this image will tell us and what it will do in us.